Hello everybody. Myself Pranjal again on dissection and uh, today I will be disassembling this Nokia phone. This is Nokia 6030. It's a quite old phone and it's not actually working. The thing is that it is working but its battery is not. That is why it is not going to switch on. Okay, so let's just open this. No. So let's just remove the battery cover and the battery. Okay. Now everybody can <coughs> open it up to that level now how to open it further so in everything that you try to open you have to find it yourself that how will you open it so i just try to open it and after a little bit you know searching and finding i find i found out that this by applying pressure here i can just open its cap and now it looks like a bald man and uh, after this okay so this is how it can be opened and this is your keypad so this is what most uh, mobile shop owners do to change the damaged body of a mobile phone okay so this is all the body of the mobile phone okay so this is the body and you can just change your phone's body on your own now how to open it further now what you must have seen is that mostly screwdrivers are of this type okay a plain line but the screw here the screw on this phone are not simple line type they are actually star shaped okay so maybe you will not be able to see it here my camera is not able to focus but the screws are of this shape this T10 or T8 or T7 this shape not the this 3mm 4mm this line shape or the plus shape so for opening this mobile phone I will be needing this screwdriver set ok so it's just generally good to buy this kind, this kind of set because you can just open many things using these ok so it's fitting it fits very well ok so i just now let's just start opening it piece by piece Okay. So there were six screws and uh, I have just opened four of them and the fifth one is this 
and be careful that you place your screws somewhere where you you just don't lose them okay so these are the six screws i opened now after opening these screws i think everything will come out okay so everything has just come out as you can see now if this phone if your phone that you are trying to open is in a good condition then i would suggest you <coughs> to not touch any part or any electrical part well i touched i have touched everything till now but i would like you, <coughs> i would suggest you not to touch anything because there is some concept of static electricity and once and this concept applies on electrical circuit some electrical circuit that if you just touch any part and then it will get damaged so this happens due to the st static electricity in your body so it's generally i would suggest you to not touch anything okay try not to touch anything so this is you can see the sim card cover and this is simple charger and port and headphone module and these pins will connect these pins will connect to this part of the pcb means this part and this is how the charger and the headphone will be connected to the main motherboard okay so this is the antenna cum micro uh, micro not microphone but as the speaker you can see antenna cum speaker this is just the a protective layer so that you just don't damage your keypad maybe or it can also be a medium to spread the light spread the light that you see on your keypad so that uh, the light goes to every part yeah okay so this is the keypad and this is the screen okay there must be a connection from screen to the motherboard yeah okay so this is the connection you can see this is the port like usb port in your computer in your usb port you connect your usb flash drive in this port you connect this plug of your screen and that is why how that is how the uh, screen is connected to the main motherboard okay this is the screen you can see and in the back side of it this is the sim card this is the sim card plate and there must there may, may be other things inside this covered metal covered uh, metal covered chassis okay so i'm not going to open it because i don't think that if i open it i will be able to fix it back now nah, one more interesting thing that i see here is this motor okay so do you know uh, so what does this motor do so this is actually the motor for vibration in all of the phone in uh, all the phones that we have there is this kind of vibrating motor and what it does is that this is actually a motor and this portion you can see is a half cylinder and when it rotates because this is a half cylinder it uh, just makes the motor 
to move back and forth and that is why the vibrations are produced this is the battery terminals these are the battery terminals this is the power on switch these connections are for the antenna as you can see this one no these connections are for antenna and these are for the speaker like this and uh, okay so i don't think that i should open it further because if i open anything else like this thing so i would damage the parts now now we have just opened a mobile phone but what did we learn so the best thing to learn from after opening uh, these uh, anything after opening any electrical electronic device is that read the numbers okay just try and read different numbers on different ICs that you see and search them on internet on google and you will just learn what these ICs are what do they do which companies have produce these uh, produce this ic and what kind of market these ic's have what is their cost anything and how do they work how these ic's are programmed now like i can see this number here there is some number 4850877 now if i just uh, type it on google and try to search it i think there will must be some information on this kind of lcd screen yeah i think it's lcd only okay so that's it for today we have just opened up a mobile phone and we have seen some basic things some basic uh, components of the mobile phone the screen the light spreading film maybe the antenna the chassis okay the vibrating motor the battery the cap and all the body itself so this is the nokia 6030 and uh, connecting people